Hi everyone, welcome back. We are still live on Behance.net slash live. This is the Adobe Live Show and this week it's about graphic design and packaging. And our last guest of the day, but he will be back tomorrow and on Thursday, is Kenny Coyle. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good. Yeah. Good. Thanks yeah. for joining us. Yeah, I'm stoked. Yeah, I'm, stoked. I'm excited too. I've tried to get you several times, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know. And now I we, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's definitely happening. Uh, thanks for watching. I see Elio in the chat, Laura. Yeah, and Kevin, we're live from San Francisco. It's uh, 3 p.m. here. Let us know where you're watching from and what time is it, it is in your country. And uh, hi, Drew. Good to see you. So um, the goal of this week is to have graphic designers working on a fictionary brand, or maybe it's a real one, we will see, mm -hmm. uh, working on the identity. But the, the main application, the final application, is packaging. And it's also an opportunity to celebrate uh, a new Creative Cloud application, which is Adobe Dimension, right. which has been released two weeks ago, and that lets you uh, create uh, photorealistic rendering of 3D objects where you can apply your branding to create uh, yeah, photorealistic mockups, but you decide on the light, the background in the picture, you have full control. And we want you to try Dimension uh, during this show. And uh, actually, Kenny, as they will create uh, just uh, pictures with Dimension, they will. Right share these pictures with us and we'll ask you to review some yeah um, sounds maybe? good yeah sounds good okay but first i want to uh i will let you introduce yourself okay to our friends watching okay cool so my name's kenny um obviously <laughs> <laughs> um uh, i am from florida originally uh i just moved to austin texas oh. uh, a year ago how is it it's good it's hot it's very creative, no? Like yeah, yeah. Very a lot space. of great designers yeah. over there. We had a lot of Adobe Live uh, guests from Austin, actually. Oh, okay, yeah. cool, yeah. Um, and I'm working at an ad agency, Preacher, um, which is located downtown. Uh, I've been designing for about five years now. Okay. Uh, uh, was not very good in the beginning, but come a long way. So bad. So yeah, bad. so oh, bad. Man. Don't check his portfolio. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's where I'm at now. And uh, now I'm in San Francisco doing this, so. I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm yeah. super excited too. Yeah. Um, and uh, so maybe you can uh, uh, share with us what is your plan, what we, you will be cool. working so, on over the three days? Um, I'm going to be uh, creating a brand from scratch, mm -hmm. uh, fictitious, uh, called Gold Coast Brewing Co. So it's a, a beer company. Um, and basically beer. what I'll be going through uh, is uh, starting with uh, the logo and some more graphic elements and then um, start to go into what a can design could look like okay um, and uh, then eventually using Adobe Dimension to, to kind of mock that up yeah so yeah. he will be there with us over three days two hours per day so we have friends watching from Turkey oh my God, it's 1 a.m. oh wow you know this this dedication yeah <laughs> ba Bazak you stay up uh, for uh, Kenny this is awesome yeah uh, we have Ahmed is from Rome Italy it's 11 p.m. oh my god thanks for us so late we have Bea from Germany we have Zaid in uh, Iraq, it's 1 a.m. Laura in uh, Bogota, 5 p.m. Almost the same time zone, Laura. Um, and yeah, thanks for being here. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, oh, do you know Mark uh, Berenger? Yes, I do. Oh yeah, Mark. He's, uh, he's my boy. <laughs> Your boy is live. Okay. Cool. And Patrice from France, yeah. Cool. Paris Saint-Germain. Okay. All right, so um, what I'm going to start with is uh, designing the logo and some just some other elements to kind of go along with the brand. Okay. Usually I start with um, just doing the logo type. So I'll go ahead and spell that out. Yeah, so what is the name of the brand again? Uh, Gold Coast Brewing Co. And I'll just go ahead and put that in the beautiful, the, beautiful Myriad Pro. Is the Gold Coast um, something real? Like, a, Is it like a no, Florida? It's, or? It, no, it's, just it's a, all fictitious. I was okay. doing it for San Francisco um, oh. just because we're here. Um, so I'll just usually just do a bunch of different kind <laughs> of uh, type treatments. Um, usually Gotham's pretty good go-to. <laughs> yeah, it's neutral and yeah. uh, usually I'll easy to read, efficient, yeah, modern. I'll separate these out. Trim this out a little Gotham. bit. Let us know in, in the chat in which year Gotham has been created. Is it 2002, 2004? That's a good question. I'm not sure. Yeah, they, they will find out. In which year Gotham has been created? I'm going to separate these out a little bit. So the hierarchy is there. Okay. And uh, what kind of mood uh, do you want for. Uh, 
This so I wanted to brand. feel kind of craft. Um, craft. Uh, yeah, j just something you, you could sell in San Francisco. Yeah, absolutely, uh, absolutely. Okay. Um, and I want to kind of go with more of like a monoline kind of oh. feel. Two thousand. Uh, okay. Thank you, Benedict. So still a very young typeface. Yeah. It it became very famous with uh, Barack Obama. Yeah. So yes, we can. Mm-hmm. Cool. Right now, I'm just adding a small stroke, just so it feels like it's around the same weight nice. here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn my snap to grid off here. Lara is using a Gotham. Just typing the name in the chat. So I'm gonna outline this type, and just so I can mess around with this code to make it a little bit more interesting. So we can all say uh, thank you to Kenny for not using Helvetica. Hey, there you go. <laughs> thank you, Kenny. <laughs> This but within uh, five years, Gotham will be the new habit. It uh, will. You, you know how it works. Yeah, now. I know. Yeah. I mean, if it's not already, I know there's a lot of people that are kind of tired of it. So right now, I'm just kind of making this kind of bottom area a little bit more interesting to look oh, at. I like it. So you like to add some uh, visual elements like this just to... Yeah, j especially in the logo surprising. and then like throughout the, the, the label design just makes it a little bit more... Uh, you fun. do some lettering too. I noticed that on your portfolio. Yeah. Where yeah. did I see that? Is it on your website, Kenny? It's. A, it could be on my Instagram. I have a. Oh, it's on your Instagram. Yeah, Instagram you're right. right. Okay. I need to. Yeah. Let me showcase your Instagram to our friends. Oh my God! Almost twelve thousand followers, Kenny. Yeah. Yeah. Good, I'm good not good kidding. Yeah? I'm good not kidding. Yeah. Look at this. It's beautiful. Drunk on lettering. Is it a, a podcast or something? Yeah, that was yeah. The, uh, the podcast I did. Wow. <laughs> I love this one with the skateboarder. Yeah. <laughs> so good. So you see, he can go in every direction. Are you ready? So I'm just duplicating my the brewing out just to make sure that that's tight and I like the the kind of uh, letting on that um, compared to the Gold Coast mm -hmm. it feels like it needs to get a little bit wider um, maybe I'll turn it out to 250 just want to make sure that the stroke weights and stuff are, are are feeling pretty even with the top okay I kind of want this to extend around where the O is and the S is And as you are wor working on the space, yeah, nice structure here. <laughs> Good job. Um, I want to showcase uh, three uh, pictures that have okay. been created by uh, our, our friends watching. Yeah, absolutely. So there is one by uh, Nicolas, I guess. Uh, so your desk is a mess, but I like this mess. <laughs> it's uh, actually, if you compare it with my desk, it's very organized, mm -hmm. very clean. Um, and my guess is that this, you see this bottle, Kenny? Mm -hmm. I think this is 3D. It's fake. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, good Let job. Me know, Nicolas, because, good job because <laughs> it's hard to tell. <laughs> and you're watching Adobe Live, so I like it too. Yeah, that's awesome. Adobe Live, yeah. Something is telling me here with the age that this might be safe. I'm not even sure, and it's too good. Yeah. Too good. Wow. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm wrong. But, you know. I don't know it that well. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard to tell. Maybe it's just a picture. <laughs> yeah, it could just be. took your pictures. Okay, yeah, dimension, and um, this one. Whoa, good job! I think maybe it was Beatrice. I don't remember or Benedict. Uh, Creative coffee. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, let us know if you did the lettering too. Good job. And uh, ah, what is this wine? Looks like a wine. Paper box. grinder. Paper grinder. Is it a thing? Paper grinder. I'm not sure. Yeah, because I just arrived in the U.S., so I'm still learning uh, oh, okay. this type of stuff. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, familiar. But with the wood. Yeah, yeah it looks like looks a wine nice. box. Yeah, could be a nice wine box actually. Yeah. But yeah, give us more detail. Uh, it was yours, Benedict. You did the lettering and use capture. Wow, good job. Yeah, that's awesome. So keep sharing. The rules of the contest are in the contest tab. Okay, if you're on behance.net/live, there is a 
Next to the chat tab, there is contest, and we explain the steps. But basically, you use Adobe Dimension, you drag and drop a 3D model, you put your background picture, you can add your own logo, you render the picture and share it with us. And uh, at the end of the show, I will ask you, Kenny, the one you prefer, mm -hmm. and uh, someone can win a credit card subscription. Awesome. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. So right now, I'm just trying to figure out the spacing still. St starting to feel a little bit more. Starting to feel right here. So I'll go ahead and kind of go on to the next um, element. I'm going to create like a kind of like a monogram. Oh, it's a peep. Okay, paper green there. Like to. Okay. Thank you, team. It's a very classy paper green there packaging. Very classy. High end. Is it your first time in San Francisco? It is. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. First time. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> but last week it was uh, super warm. Oh, really? Insane. Yeah. I still need to convert sorry, uh, Celsius into, into Fahrenheit. But last week it was about uh, 90 degrees. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. that's pretty hot. And now it's winter. Winter is coming. <laughs> so this is the the shape of the label you picture or on the label? Um, this is I'm just creating a monogram. Um, I'll a show monogram. you. Yeah. Okay. I'm making like a a, a GC monogram. Um, just more elements that I oh, have. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, more m elements that I have to kind of work with, and it'll just make the the designing of the label a little bit more uh, oh, more okay. interesting. So and now easy. you're just playing with the brand, right? Yeah. Different stuff, and when it will come to the packaging, you will make some decisions. Right. I see. Cool. So right now I'm just kind of making a. I'm gonna make a GC monogram here. Wow, ten degrees in in France. Wow. Alexandre, you, you must live in the north of France then. 10 degrees, yeah. Celsius is very cold. So you are from Florida, you tell me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, where uh, Florida? Tampa, Florida. Ah. Yeah. It's the only place I've been in Florida. <laughs> oh, Tampa. Uh, <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> and, and what did you do in Tampa, Florida? I was with Paul Trani in Tampa, Florida, and... Uh, it was, it was very warm, and we went to see, it was my first time, I went to watch a hockey match. Oh, okay. But it was very warm, so I just had a t-shirt, and uh, my brain didn't function. <laughs> and said, didn't anticipate that maybe if you watch a hockey match, maybe it's cold you yeah. know, inside the stadium to right. keep the ice frozen. Oh, yep. So, yeah, I mean... Uh, it, it wasn't easy. But I had Paul with me, so he did some push-ups and, yeah. <laughs> when we cuddled. We cuddled. We cuddled. It was very cute. <laughs> cool. So just made, like, kind of... Oh, a, it looks good. Yeah, G, a little GC monogram just GC. to kind of... To, uh, to go along with the, the, the logo here. Um, Could be for my son, Gabriel Chez. He will steal it, you will see. My son <laughs> will steal it. If these are around the same kind of weight. Cool. So as I like continue, this is basically what the the, the can label size is going to feel like, and I've okay. kind of divided these up into kind of different sections. This this kind of top section that I have highlighted is where the can kind of goes upward. Um, oh, you know I how there's a like kind yeah. of a lip to it. And then these two sections are kind of like the front and the back, and this little side panel is where, you know, uh, you know, government warnings would would um, kind of live and yeah. and uh, where the so this is mandatory, like you cannot skip this, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is pretty, especially when there is alcohol. I guess you have a lot of uh, stuff that you need to display. Yeah, yeah, table. and and uh, it can get kind of tricky just with. Uh, um, with these types of things, so it's good to always have this to kind of know where all your information is kind of go, uh, going. Um, and this front panel that I have highlighted, this is this is what's front facing. So okay. you don't want anything to kind of bleed over this section because um, you know if it's sitting on a shelf, content will kind of um, go off and you won't be able to see it at first glance. 
Um, so this is just some good parameters to have um, when you're designing. And I'll go ahead and move that over just so I'm, I'm kind of thinking within this space. Um, and my artboard's going to kind of get messy. It's just kind of how I work. So I'll just go ahead and send that to the back and, and yeah. start to mess around with. It's a mess, Kenny. It's a mess. Yeah. <laughs> So I already know um, there's kind of two forms of hier hierarchy you can do with a can. You can either make the logo really big um, and, and be that kind of front and center, or you can have the whatever the type of beer is or whatever the flavor is um, be really large. So um, on this one, I'm going to make the, the type of beer larger um, and put that kind of like as the most important and the logo a little bit smaller. Okay. Um, just so, so type of beer like what? Like a I'm going to do a pale ale. IPA. I'm going to do a pale ale. Pale ale. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, and because it is uh, Gold Coast Brewing, I want to do something to kind of uh, maybe a tribute to San Francisco or California. So I'm going to try to illustrate maybe like um, Golden Gate Bridge here. Yeah. In a <laughs> to include in that. And that the logo awesome. might change just depending um, on where I, I kind of go with this. But So what do you do in your uh, agency? Uh, I'm a, the senior designer, um, mm -hmm. so I work on you know packaging, um, uh, you know ad layout, that type of thing. Um, so it's very similar stuff. <laughs> Hi, Muge. Where are you from, Muge? I would like to bet on Turkey. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I bet on Turkey. Oh, Ashley uh, says this is super rad to watch. I love the quick illustrations. <laughs> yeah, Kenny is fast. Huh? <laughs> Don't close your eyes. Hi, Cedric. So, senior designer. Okay, and when did you join the agency? Um, a little over six months ago. Oh, okay. So it's uh, yeah, you fairly were, new. Yeah. yeah. And when did you move to Austin again? Uh, I moved for the job. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. it's uh, like, wow, yeah. brand new experience. Right, right. And now you're live on Adobe Live. I mean, that's a, yeah. <laughs> that's a big year. Yeah. yeah. A lot of stuff going on. Yeah, that's definitely. Cool. cool. So now I'm going to, now that I have kind of an idea of what I want, where I want to go with this, with the kind of like monolo uh, monoline design, and, and even with where I started um, with this monogram, I'm going to start to create what that Golden Gate Bridge looks like. Um, <laughs> I'm actually going to try to go see it tomorrow. I've actually never seen it in person. Oh, so, so. It's, uh, I think it's red. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely red. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not golden. Um, so I'll just go ahead and uh, start designing that. Um, this will be like more of a, I feel like a, a 3D model line type. More Hi, Oscar. Thanks for joining. We are with, uh, if you're just joining, we are with Kenny, who is uh, designing um, a brand new entity, I would say, for uh, a fictionary beer. Which was very tasty. Yes, definitely yeah. good. Produced in San Francisco. <laughs> and now he's working on the illustration for the packaging because uh, Kenny will be live today, but also tomorrow and on Thursday. So you see the full process uh, until the 3D rendering of the beer bottle with his design. Cool. And for the 3D rendering, we will use a new application, which is part of Credit Flood, which is Adobe Dimension. Check the contest tab because you can participate and eventually win a credit card subscription just using Dimension. Just try it. And at the end of the contest tab, there is a link to a tutorial if you want to learn how to use it. But it's super easy to learn because if you just launch the app, there is, a, I think, a 14-step tutorial that will guide, guide you, but directly within the app. You say, like, click here. Like, uh, I think it's the best onboarding experience we had like so far with the uh, Creative Cloud apps. I was really uh, amazed. How did you cut, I get the circle that fast? Is asking Laura. Uh, yeah, so th essentially you just, uh, you take a circle. Okay. Um, and I have it on Snap to Grid. Snap to Grid's awesome because it, it brings up this grid um, and all of your points snap to it. So I just draw a perfect circle mm -hmm. and then I'll just take my direct select tool and trim the top of it off by deleting it. And oh, okay. that's kind of how you have it. And, and I offset it. these just so it starts to give you that idea that you're looking at the, uh, you know, looking at the bridge at an angle.
Flavia, hi from Uruguay. Oh my god. Have you ever been to South America? Oh uh, no, I have not. Oh yeah. I want to go. Just with the grid activated. So Laura, the grid will help you like uh, snap your design. But once you trace a circle, if you use the you type A to select the, I don't remember the name of the tool, but I know the shortcut is A <laughs> um, for direct selection. You just select the top anchor point of the circle, press delete, and that's it. Now uh, we should come to Colombia. Yeah, I wish. I want to do Adobe Live Tour in South America. That would be cool. Cool. So we're starting to get that shape of the, the bridge a little bit. Um, Hi Reda, welcome. I'm gonna delete these for now and start to put in yes. these. So if you hold the the Alt button, um, you'll be able to. Do you need a reference picture for the Golden Gate, or? I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna get there. Um, okay. I'm just looking for it on on Adobe Stock. Okay, so you have a reference picture. There we go. There you go. Okay. Looks awesome. like this. Okay. It's red. It's red. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Then I'm gonna duplicate these. Um, just how the Golden Ga Golden Gate Bridge is. Um, these kind of in the, the bridge a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks like you're right. And the hovering art director now. Yeah. <laughs> like this guy. Let's see what he thinks. Uh, it feels too designed. <laughs> ah, it feels too designed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to listen to <laughs> this uh, doll. So I'm just going to trim the edges off these using the drag select. Maybe move up this up this way here. So when you work for a customer, what is your um, design process before jumping into design? Um, usually, um, it just depends. Um, if I'm, I'm doing, if I'm going straight into packaging and the brand is already built, usually I'll ask for, you know, all the the, the creative assets like what I'm doing right now up front, mm -hmm. um, like logo, um, and then also uh, what printer they're going to be um, using, mm -hmm. um, so I can figure out what the you know, if there is a template, um, what that size is, or if they're trying to do something a little bit more custom, just so I know. Um, usually that's what I'll need to get started, um, which could be tough sometimes, you know, um, especially when, uh, you know, people aren't familiar with the process. Um, so sometimes you kind of have to walk them through it if they're, they're kind of new to that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to delete all these lines because they're confusing me. Uh, Reda is asking you uh, when it comes to uh, colors. Yeah. How do you choose a color palette? Do you start in black and white? I usually start in black and white, and okay. then then I go to the to color. Um, oh, okay. With this one, I'll definitely use probably some yellows and golds, uh, maybe some blacks, because I kind of want maybe it to to feel a little bit more premium, like a premium beer. Um, and just from the name itself, um, mm -hmm. Gold Coast, I want it to kind of have like some gold hues in there. So that's what it's looking like right now. Tim is saying, yeah, we still have a you still have more than one hour to join the contest, yeah. <laughs> Just try Adobe Dimension, create a picture, share it with us, and you will get a chance to win a Creative Cloud subscription. Also, we will give away a Creative Cloud su subscription in about uh, 30 minutes to uh, someone who has been active in the chat. So it's another 
way to get a chance to win Creative Cloud. Just uh, keep asking questions, such as Oscar Reyes asking, so how do you get the guidelines on your workspace again? Ah. Um, you hit uh, command and uh, comma. That, that kind of toggles it Command and comma and just to display or hide the grid. Yep. Or you can go to and view. The, uh, and the smart guide. Yeah, yeah, you can go to view um, too, um, and that gives you the option to show the grid um, and then option to snap to grid. And this is how you can learn the shortcuts too. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome, Oscar. Yeah, feel free to ask questions. It's really your opportunity to uh, to engage with Kenny and ask about uh, his life mm -hmm. as a creative. So before joining an agency, you were uh, freelancing. What was your? Uh, um, actually, uh, I straight out of school, I started working for an agency in, okay. in Florida, and uh, I've been working for agencies ever since. Um, I do do freelance on the side. Um, so I'm working on a few projects right now mm -hmm. um, that are packaging. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit more fil uh, familiar with just doing packaging in general. Um, and what are the um, main constraints? I mean, what did you have to learn uh, to um, jump from graphic design, pure like pure graphic design, to packaging? Well, packaging is you have to you have to consider print. You have to consider um, you know, colors, you have to consider, you know, the size, um, there's, you know, working digitally is, is different because you can make it any size you want. There's mm -hmm. no restrictions or, or, uh, certain sizes, um, that you have to meet. Whereas packaging, there's, especially with, um, food packaging, there's just like a lot of, um, you know, uh, requirements and, um, especially from the client, um, you know, requests. So, it's something to get used to, uh, uh, especially with you know like print and making sure colors are correct. That's that's a pretty large chunk of it. Something I definitely had to get used to. So rather to make a grid, actually it's uh, in the settings of Illustrator, you can define the size of the grid, the space you want. Um, so just, uh, you can first go in the view menu to say, uh, show the grid, and then in the settings you can define what type of grid you want. But then you need to understand the snap to grid uh, feature, which is also in the view menu, I think. Mm -hmm. So try to check it or uncheck it to, to feel the difference but helps you to align uh, everything that you are designing, especially with this type of uh, illustration where you want to reach something very geometrical, symmetrical. Right. Um, it will, yeah, it will save a lot of time. <laughs> it will just look neat, you know, it will just uh, yeah, make it'll sense. Feel, yeah, even yeah. And That's essentially what it's going to look like now. Want to say to hi? <laughs> Eric, you should say hi to our friends. Maybe we can go closer. So this is Eric. He works uh, with us in the studio. And uh, he's always... I mean, yeah. He's always dressed uh, like this. That's the... Yeah. What costume? Yeah. I like it. It's not because this is Halloween today. Like, every day he's uh, like this. <laughs> <laughs> he dresses like that every day. Every day. Nice. <laughs> So now that I have a, a good idea of like kind of what I want to look like, I'll, I'll refine it a little bit and, and start to put it in this little uh, panel size, which I got from this file. So I'm working within this size right here, um, and, and starting to lay some <laughs> they stuff. They say out. he he even has a banana. Yeah, I mean, that's Eric.
So right now I'm just essentially duplicating what I already had, just making it a little bit more streamlined and uh, within this space that I've kind of created for the label. Cool. Okay. So essentially what I'll have is um, I'll have a little section down here mm -hmm. um, where it, I'll have like a little color block just so it kind of isolates the, the type of beer it is um, and draw a little bit more attention. And then this top um, I'll leave for the, the kind of the scene and the artwork okay. um, and the logo as well. So you already have the, the structure, the hierarchy in mind? Right. Yeah, I effects. think I, I'm going to have pale ale really large and okay. probably in a different typeface and just to make it a little um, different than where the logo is right now. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can ask our friends in the chat, like if you have to uh, design or create an illustration that would represent San Francisco. Uh, so beside the Golden Gate, what, what would you design? That would be interesting because the Golden Gate is so iconic. Know, yeah. Iconic. Like, is there something else that would uh, come to your mind? Maybe not. You know, it's like Paris. You think about the Eiffel Tower right, right away. But maybe there is something. Maybe they will think about something. Lombard Street, yeah, Ashley. Hard to represent though. Eh? Maybe a hill with uh, a street like this, and cars, and tourists at the bottom taking mm -hmm. pictures. That, sh that could be a funny one, actually. So what I'll have is this. This will almost be like the water um, down here where the pale ale is. Um, Crabs. And then we'll actually have. Yeah. Fisher's man, rife sign as well. Yeah, the pier. The crooked uh, streets. Yeah, there is something maybe yeah, with the hills and the streets that could represent. Uh, yeah, there is a building also. What's the name of this building? Uh, the Trans America or Trans. Uh, looks like a pyramid. Oh yeah, I, I mean? actually passed that. Yeah, you saw that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cable cars. Yeah, actually, good job. Yeah, it's, that's the building in the financial district. Oh, what's the name? Trans America or something? Yeah, they, they will find the name. I don't have to search. <laughs> they will find it for me. They are too fast. <laughs> so you're starting to see that mm. kind of composition. Yeah, structure looks good. Yeah, composition starting to come together. I think just because how tall this is, Yeah. I want to do a uh, a little bit of a taller typeface. Okay. Um, so I'll use knockout. And again, I kind of want this to be a little different and and uh, more monoline. So I'm gonna Trans -America use America Pyramid. Okay. Use the I was close. The painted ladies. Do you know what this is? Okay. Good test. What the? What are the painted ladies in San Francisco? No idea. You see? No idea. It's not iconic enough. And we have a good uh, user tasting live. Yeah. Mm. These are like uh, three or four uh, houses, and they looked. Uh, oh, they look okay, the same. yeah, yeah. Like where the full house houses were. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that sounds about yeah. right. Yeah, Kenji, <laughs> it's a good one. It's a poetic one, one but uh, it's a good one. It would be tough on the beer label, but yeah, I dig it. Yeah, good one. I think it's good to add the sun also in uh, on the beer label because yeah, like if it feel oh yeah, the weather is so hot, you know. <laughs> I need a pale ale. Yeah, it's gonna quench your thirst. Good tricks. Hi, Maggie Meg. 
Thanks for joining on Behance. So now if you are joining us, we are live on Behance every week. This week is about graphic design and packaging. We'll be live tomorrow also and on Thursday with the four graphic designers. We start, uh, uh, we started uh, this morning with uh, Anne Brecker and then uh, we had uh, uh, Nick Le Longo and then Cecilia Ur and now we end the day with uh, Kenny Cole. So there is a schedule tab that you can check to make sure you join the shows on time. And next week, we will have illustrators and digital painters. So something different. Although you are, you are creating an illustration now. But in the context of packaging. So Artem is asking you what are your thoughts on uh, Dimension, which is our new application. So I'm like, I'm, I'm very familiar with using mockups just in, in Photoshop. Um, and the idea that I can actually like make my own mock-ups now <laughs> is really awesome. I'm not that familiar with it yet, um, but I'm I'm looking to be um, very soon. Uh, but I think it's awesome. Um, I I've been trying to I've used the 3D tool in Photoshop before. It kind of works the similarly, um, but now that you can actually like mock up you know products and actually like save out stuff as like 3d pdfs is amazing um not only to for your portfolio but to to present and and have it make sense for your client so oscar is asking how, how long have you been designing we were talking about uh, five years yeah about five years yeah. um and you studied uh, design at school, or? Yeah, I went to USF um, St. Petersburg for for design. I, I I really didn't start really getting into it and learning until my internship, mm -hmm. um, which was in Tampa. That was actually in St. Pete as well. Okay. Um, it's a city literally like thirty minutes away from from Tampa, and um, I lived there for a couple of years. <laughs> They want to know how you copy the vertical line so easily. Cool. Uh, so you just now is the keyboard shortcut. Yeah. Um, uh, maybe we can show it with the. You just hold down your Alt button or your Option button. We do a GoPro moment. Okay. Go to GoPro. Be super impressive. Okay. Cool. The GoPro keyboard screenshot moment. Okay. Cool. So I just hold down the Alt button right here, and I go over like that, and it duplicates the line, um, and then you let go whenever you're done. But you hold down the alt button and it, it duplicates your your line. It makes it super easy instead of having to use the blend tool or or something like that in Illustrator. It just makes it super fast. So that's how you work. Yeah. Right now I'm doing something very tedious um, by adding these kind of lines to represent the the bridge. So it's starting to come together a little bit. Once I have these lines kind of all done, I can duplicate that and re um, flip it on its axis and, and transfer it to the other side. Cool. So I'm going to lock these two. Um, Command 2 locks your design so you don't accidentally select it. I'm going to lock these as well. And then copy these lines over. Oh, upside down. Cool. And they're not gonna line perfectly just because of this line belongs right here. Oh yeah. Cool. 
So there's my Golden Gate Bridge. Nice. Came together. Um, and then I'll start to add inside this kind of little box that I have going on right here. I don't know if it's too light for y'all to see it, but I'll kind of highlight it in the blue. This is kind of the space I'm working within. I'll add some, just some lorem ipsum below this pale ale because I kind of want it to have like a little saying that says where it was bottled. And I'll use Gotham for that as well. So I'll do um, bottled in tan green. I spelled it right, right? I think that was a. I'm not that great of a speller. <laughs> Do canned. I believe they call it the city by the bay. Uh, there is a bay for sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh. just some descriptors to kind of go in there okay um, also some other descriptors that are mandatory when you're doing a beer is is doing um, your ABV or um, how many ounces are in there oh yeah so it's usually like 12 ounces and I think I'm gonna put that around this area and then and I think you need to also display the Label of alcohol. No? Yeah, ABV. Yeah. ABV. Sorry. Yeah. So I'll do that. Let's make this like a, a nice five percent. <laughs> five point two percent. <laughs> Sounds about right. Not too. Not, not too heavy. So I, I imagine I want to do something ar around that area, and then to kind of balance it out, I know I want to do like maybe um, SF Cal up here, mm -hmm. um, just to reiterate where it's coming from. And then maybe I want to do something to this area. And I'll highlight that by kind of drawing a little box here. I'll just make it gray right now just because I don't want to think about color. I just want to think about how it's laid out. Okay. So I know that I want there to be some sort of, you know, a uh, little section that's dedicated to the... Right. Yeah, the type of beer. And the right. Yeah. Do you use a creative creative code library sometimes or not? Uh, not really. Yeah. No. But we can maybe we, what we can try is to have a shared creative code library. Okay. So you can share this design with me, and then we just try, you know, in dimension to oh, just okay. as a test, you know, to see how it behaves. Yeah, so absolutely. So I can show you how it works. So okay. If you cool. go in uh, in window, you can display uh, your libraries here, and uh, we will create a new one. So if we go here, maybe we can create uh, other device. Okay. okay, so it's empty, but you will share it with me. So you go and you say collaborate. Cool. Oh. And you did internet connection. Yeah. This will help. Okay, let's try again. Right. And then you type the name of the the designers you want to. Oh, okay, cool. You know, work with uh, just the emails actually, and uh, it should work. Try email with your folders. Come on. Is this one? Yeah. Just checking. Oh, I know why. <laughs> I know why. Because we were offline when we created the library. Oh, uh, okay. Just giving a few seconds to sync and understand that we have a new one. Otherwise, I would just create uh, another one. Uh, so, what is the name of the project? Gold Coast, you say? Yeah. Okay, let's try Gold Coast. 
shades and colors. Yeah, such with settings. Okay, that's weird. I need to check what's happening. Sorry. That's okay. Yeah. I will check on my side. All right. And you can good. continue because I can create one and share it with you too. So they're asking, do you prefer the mouse tool or the pen? What do you mean? What do you mean, Zaid? Because I'm using the, the pen tool with the mouse. So maybe you want to say between the trackpad and the mouse? Or oh, OK. Or maybe uh, do you use a tablet? Uh, I, I, use the, I do use a tablet just mainly for like illustrations and stuff. Once yeah. it comes to this, I prefer a mouse. Yeah, it's especially this me. type of illustration. Right. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I guess that's what they meant. Same size. I want there to be a little bit more hierarchy between these two. Yeah. I'm gonna grab that stroke that I'm using there just so that they're for consistency. <laughs> Actually, might bring it back to the same size. Hi, John Diaz. Yeah, I'm French. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you guessed it. Uh, Yadira is asking you, which typeface did you use for to write pale ale? That is knockout. Knockout, like a... Yeah, like, like okay. a punch, yeah. <laughs> So Red Eye is asking, tell us, do you start with the pen or write into Illustrator? Oh, do you sketch on paper before? I, I do. Um, with this one, uh, I'm just kind of starting in the, the computer. Um, it's always a lot easier for me to, to draw something out first. Um, but sometimes when that doesn't work for me, I, I do just go straight into the computer. It just, it's whatever works. Mm -hmm. um, there's no you know rule against it or for it, so it just it just depends. Do you know the the email you're using for your Adobe ID? Yeah, I'm using. Where you yeah. are? Yeah. This is connected through my work, so it might. Oh. Yeah. Let's try. Is that good? Okay, maybe that's why. We will see. We'll okay, see. cool. <laughs> Just gonna make sure these fonts up here are the same size as where I'm where I'm working, and then maybe I'll make these kind of fall inside of a circle as well. Just to kind of mimic the what I'm doing here with the sun. Mm -hmm. So Matthias would like to know how you find uh, inspiration. Do you have a routine or process to, to get inspired? Or? Yeah, usually I'll use Pinterest. Actually, I, okay. I started using Pinterest a lot more um, this year. It's just it has a really great kind of search feature um, where you can find really awesome stuff. And even if it doesn't pull up exactly what you're looking for, it'll it'll find some really awesome you know stuff related to it. Mm -hmm. um, so I use a lot of that just for inspiration. I'll I'll, I'll go on there and put together a board. Um, 
you know, for that specific project and then just kind of, you know, gather inspiration from there. Also look on, you know, insp- uh, Instagram and Behance as well just for um, projects. Usually more branding identity pro- um, projects I'll go on Behance. So I'm going to try to make this this little uh, this section a little bit more interesting to cut off and make like maybe a like a kind of a zigzag shape to to kind of cut it off from the oh, artwork. Oh, nice! So you use a zigzag. Yeah, zigzag. <laughs> so I'll create this. It kind of it'll almost feel like an additional label. Um, so I'll do that and kind of attach it to that bottom section. Give it a little bit more oomph. about right so mm-hmm. I'll do that um, flip it. Uh, could you center the circle uh, again yeah <laughs> which <Be> one patient <laughs> this one uh, let's see what he's th- this one's this one's centered uh, it may not feel that way <laughs> yeah I think there <laughs> might be a optical illusion yeah with yeah with the bridge right um, I'll center I'll center the whole you know thing on the on the page um, yeah. Surely. So you start to get that little feeling that this is almost an additional label um, <laughs> down here. Cody is saying, uh, I like to make the video full screen so it looks like I'm working. <laughs> it's a good trick, yeah. <laughs> Just watch it to be live, put it full screen <laughs> in an agency. That's great. Randomly cli- yeah. click on your mouse. Cool. So I'm going to move these below. So now I'll start to kind of mess with some some different colors and then um, bring this over into my actual um, template Mm -hmm. um, here. But right now I'll just kind of experiment with some colors and and start to think about what's going to be on the second panel. Um, So I know I wanted to do some some yellow, so I'll just start with the sun because that's usually yellow, right? (laughs) Go ahead. It's not green. Can I check something? Just yeah, to absolutely. Clarify that. Go for it. Mm, you have one invite by Michael Chess. Okay, so now libraries. Oh, you're already there? Oh, yeah. Work with Kenny. Boom. Okay, we'll try. Uh, I just sealed this design, okay? Okay, go for it. Okay, awesome. you can keep working. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna start doing do the background. Maybe the background is more like a cream color. And then I wanted black and gold to go in there somehow. Make this section black this into the same color as this so which should I mention one more time and see what I can do with your logo <laughs> so here I have worked with Kenny so I have your illustration already oh okay you're already in it's already here dimension, right. yeah it's in dimension so is there a beer bottle somewhere maybe not so I can use the search engine to search for bottle in the 3d models okay I have wine bottle and then uh, this one lot of wine <laughs> actually um, champagne I have a can um, uh, maybe you can try this one yeah just for fun okay I will, I will take this okay, one cool. yeah just to see what what happened it tells me I have zero license <laughs> oh my god I'm broke oh my god I'm broken. Okay, I, w- I will do some coffee. I will launch the the Gold Coast coffee brand. Okay. Okay. I like that. It's from San Francisco too. And uh, okay, so you do the coffee. 
you can use any picture in the background yeah but by default you have two pictures which is nice so we'll use the table one wait to match everything match the perspective there we go not too bad this one we want to scale Ooh, it's a big Game coffee magic. yeah <laughs> big coffee cup okay we need this size that's good so you can play with the camera but you can also move the model on the table yeah mm -hmm. magically matches everything <laughs> and then play with the environment do you prefer sunlight or no yeah sunlight is good maybe more intense and uh, sometimes you see here you have uh, for 3d model different elements so you want the cup to be with uh, one material and maybe the lid with something else so maybe the lid will do some uh, black glass you know to oh, make okay. it more <laughs> just to change yeah you know, to make a difference right With, and uh, i will take your design here and place it on here and see how it goes nice and maybe we want to make it metallic see what i mean oh okay like when you print a uh, metal and make it maybe bigger Oh, nice. See how it goes. Yeah. OK, so if you click here, it, it does a first um, render preview using the real uh, 3D engine right. to create a realistic picture. It just helps me to check the light and how it feels. OK, it's not too bad. Um, the shadow is not too bad. Maybe it could be a little bit less. And you can add depth of field. I mean, you have a lot of options. But at the end, you click on render. Mm -hmm. You can uh, render a PSD file. Actually, I will do it because I've never shown it. So we'll do this. Render. And uh, depending on your machine, depending on the quality, like here I'm uh, rendering in low quality to be fast. But if I render in high quality, it can take one hour. Like <laughs> it, can, oh, wow. it takes okay. a lot of time. You yeah. can put I tried rendering a can. Um, earlier this week and it took a little bit of time it takes a lot of time but the the end result is very realistic yeah yeah so now it's uh, saved so yeah I, I could do more work on the light but what's nice is that i would like to show you that if i rotate the light you see how the metallic uh, logo behaves like you can really feel that mm -hmm. oh yeah this is metallic right yeah you see on the golden uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so now I will try to open the one on my desktop because I want to show you also something that is very cool. If you work in advertisement, for instance, and you want to use this uh, this model. Whoop. And by the way, the contest, we just ask you to do exactly what I just did. <laughs> you take a picture, a 3D model, you put your design, you render the file, and that's it. But what's nice, if you check here uh, the layers, you will notice that uh, dimension also creates uh, selection mask layers. In, photo in this is in Photoshop. Yeah, yeah. So if I want just to, uh, like, I can show you, to just select the the lead, right? That's mm -hmm. the name. I can do this and uh, add an element, and I have a mask and create a mask just for the lead. You know, uh, I don't have to use the pen tool to uh, right to uh, cut out the lead. And here it's in a separate layer. So I can still come here, maybe play with the curve and adapt the light to make it more realistic. Like here, it's a little bit better. Right. Yeah. So you can still work on the picture afterwards. That's what I wanted to explain. So we want you to do the same now. You have one hour, a little bit less now. Just do this with dimension, download install, create a picture, and then you can win a Creative Cloud subscription. OK? And the good news is that the illustration already looks great. Yeah. On the coffee. Uh, the coffee pack, yeah. To be even better with beer. Hi, Barbara. Yeah, so if you are trying to watch us from China, unfortunately, you cannot watch YouTube in China. But we have some uh, friends watching from China, and they use a VPN. Add these cards. Watch.
Okay, it looks great. So another way to win a credit card subscription, because there is another trick, is to be active in the chat. So <laughs> we give you five minutes to be active in the chat, ask questions, uh, give feedback, give appreciations to Kenny, or be very mean. I mean, <laughs> but just be active in the chat. If you are not uh, chatting, make sure to sign in with your Adobe ID and say something in the chat because we will randomly pick someone who has been active in the chat. So uh, we give you a few minutes and then we will announce um, who wins a Creative Cloud subscription. If you are already a Creative Cloud member, it will extend your membership, adding a year, and then you can access all the creative apps. So nice. Illustrator, Photoshop, After Effects, Premiere Pro, InDesign, Dimension, Adobe XD, everything. <laughs> ah, we have Janice from Bosnia. Bosnia Herzegovina. Nice. <laughs> Pirana. <laughs> Vas-y, t'es chaud. Oh, Charlie says it looks epic. Yeah, I agree. There's, there's something that looks epic there. I agree. Midnight in Paris, wow, Pierre. Could be a good movie. <laughs> so James is asking how many polygons in the importing image I can handle. It can handle, it's a good question. Usually the, so we are using the OBJ format uh, to um, import models. It's a standard, but it's good to optimize uh, your models. And it directly depends on the, you know, the, your computer actually, <laughs> at the end of the day. Is whether with quads or triangles, uh, as James, I'm not that good. I'm not sure. Oh, Lauren says, uh, thanks for sharing the process. I learned a lot and I'm a student. Thanks. Nice. Someone's asking, have you ever been in a design competition or contest or anything? No. No. Want some advice for how to be prepared for a design competition? Well, uh, I don't know. Maybe you can attend a Creative Jam. <laughs> An Adobe Creative Jam, it's a kind of design competition, but a very fun one. Um, make sure to visit the website adobecreativejams.com to see if there is a Creative Jam in your region. We share the schedule of Creative Jams on the website. Can you import a material on an imported object? Yes, James, if you import an OBG, and there is a way to import materials and create your own maps. Now, why she wants to design this path? Wow. Thanks for sharing all this feedback. And in about one minute, we will run our magical script to randomly pick someone in the chat and announce the winner. Uh, Genius, you want us to explain how architect competition works? Same comes for graphing contest as well. Um, not sure, Yanis. Did you study architecture or not at all? No. Uh, uh, sorry, won't be able to help. <laughs> okay, object keep UV. I think so, James. Again, yeah, okay, okay, very active in the chat. Oh my god, who will get the Creative Cloud subscription? Charlie's asking, is there any drawing tablet you recommend? 
you use? Um, I actually use like a very ancient Wacom tablet. Like a bamboo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, bamboo tablet is exactly what I have. <laughs> okay. A new tablet works, you know? Yeah. Um, but I do want an iPad um, just so it just makes it easier to, to kind of oh, yeah. to illustrate and stuff. Mm -hmm. Did you try a Photoshop sketch on the iPad Pro? It's a free app uh, that lets you sketch and send the sketch to Photoshop. Oh, no, not yet. very natural brushes. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I mean, as you do lettering, you will really enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> there are some bamboo users in the chat. That's there cool. we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do we have the winner? That's it? Patrice. Oh, Patrice the Bony. Good job. Yes, Patrice. He's like, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's you. You get a one-year credit card subscription. Congratulations. The Adobe Live team will contact you on Behance, so make sure to check your private messages on Behance today or tomorrow. And Patrice uh, is either French or from Quebec. I didn't choose, huh? so it's a, it's a random script. It's <laughs> not me like uh, choosing people from France. I have nothing to do with it. Okay, and we will do more giveaways, so make sure to come back tomorrow. We'll start at 9 a.m. Pacific time to 5 p.m. Pacific time, and we will do uh, more giveaways. Okay, I see some people uh, sharing some uh, packaging rendered with Adobe Dimension. Yeah, we will feature them very soon on the stream. Thanks for sharing. Uh, yes, Adira, we will start at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, exactly. Tomorrow with um, Anne Breaker, who is like Kenny, she's super fast. Mm -hmm. Adric, you came so late. I'm sorry, Adric, but tomorrow you have two more days. <laughs> so tomorrow you can join us when we start. Uh, Nathan, if you want to share with CC files, uh, you you should have a Creative Cloud files folder, and then you can say uh, share publicly with the link, and sh and uh, just paste the link in the chat. Hi Zakaria, so you are watching from uh, Algerie. Bienvenue. How the software work in on the cloud? So no, Illustrator, Photoshop uh, are still uh, installed on your desktop. Actually, Kenny he he, sta he started working being offline, and we <laughs> noticed like, oh my god, he's offline. <laughs> so you can still work offline. So what is in the cloud is if you want to sync your files, your typefaces. We have some services in the cloud if you want to use Adobe Stock, for instance, uh, Typekit to sync your fonts. But uh, the main desktop apps, you can use them offline. But what's cool is that all the updates are in the cloud. So as soon as we update Photoshop or Illustrator, you are notified and you say upgrade, update, and you get uh, the new release with all the new features. Mark Blanes. Yes, I read your messages, but I had a lot. Okay. Who want to watch my portfolio? Mark. But soon we will introduce some uh, pottery reviews. Okay. We have to give some uh, critics. Sounds good. Maybe we'll do that, okay, as a test. Yeah, let's okay, do it. In about 15 minutes. Yeah, so in about 15 minutes, stay with us. I will ask you uh, who wants to get some uh, live critic from Kenny <laughs> on their Behance portfolios. It has to be a Behance portfolio, okay? Otherwise, it will be too messy. Hello, Tatiana. Thanks for watching us. Kenny's working on the packaging. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to start moving over to the label. OK. Um, and then if I need to come That's back good. here to, to grab some stuff, I can. So I'm going to make sure everything's unlocked, which it is. I'm just going to grab this entire thing and move it over to the label. So this is the front right here again. And this is, is the back. They kind of bleed into each other because it is a can and it is a full wrap. Um, <laughs> Mark say that you're a tough critiker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Be ready. Make sure I have the right scale. One 
scale, corners, and strokes. And we have more people sharing uh, pictures rendered with uh, dimensions. So we have this one, for instance. So Rufus is really the star of the day. He works in our team, and he made a mistake once. He shared his own uh, 3D model. At Rufus, <laughs> and now he's in all. Uh, <laughs> stuff. But it looks like he's on the table. Actually, it works pretty well. Uh, orange, very nice. Yeah, exactly the type of picture you want to render with uh, dimension. Very good job. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Except. Okay, so <laughs> in dimension you can change uh, also where the light is coming from. So be careful when you analyze a picture. You see the shadow. Here goes to the right. Right. The light is there, so it should be more or less the same here. Okay, be careful because the light here comes from the right. Uh, but still, it looks great. Packaging is great. Orange. Yeah. It looks uh, yummy, juicy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, very good job. Uh, would be interesting if you try to uh, render the same picture, just change the, uh, like, uh, rotate the light, render it again, and share it again with us, just so we can feel the difference. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because right now, like you said, the light feels yeah. like it's coming from two different sources. And it's very intense, so it's a bit burnt here. Yeah, it's a little blown out. Yeah. And bravo. Oh, and you use the depth of field. Look at that. Interesting. Bravo, do it again. What is this for? Is this a... I don't know, maybe a deodorant? You know? Yeah. I, I don't know. It looks it's very photorealistic. Yeah, you know? <laughs> with the depth of field, it's yeah, super, super efficient. Is it made with dimension, this one? And that's that's impressive. With the view from the top, yeah. Wow, good job. Okay, keep sharing, because <laughs> at the end of the show, we will ask Kenny the one he prefers. Yeah, you, you have about 30 minutes to submit your entry. And it takes about five minutes to create uh, one picture. So yeah, just take a shot. So I've already kind of had my guide set up again. This is the front and the back. Um, this little line right here um, is uh, where the the bottle dips upwards. It's kind of the lip of the uh, of the can. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so right now I kind of have my logo on that lip of the can, um, where everything else is kind of falling below it. Oh. So this does have more room to explore. I'm just going to kind of duplicate it, so it it feels like this uh, this bridge is almost continuing on. And there's a second one, which there is. It's the the Bay Bridge. So I guess <laughs> <laughs> that's how that'll work. Um, but right now I'm just going to kind of get my stuff a little bit more uh, organized and uh, in the right spot on this uh, kind of template I've made. Make sure that it's kind of falling in the right guides. And so uh, Nathan wants you to recap the fonts you've been using. So a lot of Gotham. Yeah, so right now I'm only using two different fonts. Okay. Um, I use Gotham for the logo, um, and I'm also using it for, um, you know, this information down here, um, the ones that I'm selecting, and then this one is Knockout, this uh, condensed font right yeah. here that I'm using for Pale Ale. Thank you, Meng. Meng was following. Meng was like, he's using Knockout and Gotham. <laughs> So Tatiana, Kenny has been uh, starting the designing five years ago. And as a professional designer. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and how did you choose to like become like a graphic designer? Well, I was always, like I was, when I was younger, I always drew and, and uh, I, I really liked art, mm -hmm. um, and I took a lot of just a lot of studio classes, um, you know, for for art and drawing and, and that type of thing. And then um, I forget someone came in one day um, for uh, when I was still in high school, and they 
you know, they were kind of like, uh, I think it was for like the Art Institute or something like that, which really like kind of got my mind thinking about, you know, you know, I could do this for a living. So um, when I went to college, it was still wasn't like 100% where I wanted to go. But but then, you know, when I started to, uh, especially when I got into that internship in college, that's really where I, I kind of took off and, and uh, made it my own. Now it's centered. Now it's centered, yeah. yeah. Everyone feels better. <laughs> oh, Mark, it's the first time you're watching a live stream on Behance. Yeah, this is quite new, actually. Like, uh, the Adobe Live Show has one year, but it's on Behance. Uh, we started the first one two weeks ago. And we'll be live every week with a different theme, different guests. If you want us to feature, like if you have uh, designers that you really like, or uh, uh, yeah, like uh, really talented designer, motion designers, lettering artists, illustrators, photographers, anything that you want and you want us to invite them to share their creative process on Adobe Live. Uh, feel free to share some names in the chat or directly uh, send a private message to uh, the Adobe Live team, which is our account on Behance. Oh, Ian, <laughs> Benedict, yeah. It's funny because we talked about it a few weeks back. Last week, actually. <laughs> talked about Ian. So I really want to to plan um, a live event about lettering, purely. Yeah, yeah. that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Let me show you something cool. So uh, last week we had uh, Stefan Kunz. I don't know if you know Stefan. He's a lettering artist. Oh, awesome! And uh, he was at the office uh, last week. Mm -hmm. He said, "Oh, can I stay and draw something?" So yeah, sure. <laughs> so this is uh, at the Adobe office, and he started like a oh, that's awesome. Just working, and uh, this is the final result. And it says, "At Adobe Live, we believe we believe in fostering community." That's awesome. Yeah, I, I think I follow his work. Cool. Hi, Dimitri. So Adobe XD is now officially part of Creative Cloud. So if you're a Creative Cloud member, yeah, you can get it. Uh, what size of the document are you working on? He's asking Laura. Um, right now, uh, I'll kind of show you my document setup. Um, I'm not sure how I get to image size on here. I know how to do it in Photoshop. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks the like artboard, it's a, I think. Yeah, it's, it's, like a little, artboard. it's a little, like it's about nine inches nine wide. Nine inches, okay. Um, and about 4.8 inches tall. Thanks. George is saying, oh, I have to be so uncritical to have so many people judging my work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny, for yeah, sharing your creative process. Yeah, and absolutely. Sharing your work. Yeah, it's true that. So we are very lucky you know, to have uh, talented designers coming and accepting to, 
just showcase how they work. Right. Always very grateful. So <laughs> very lucky. So I'm gonna go back and, and say, "Whoa, the shadow effect is great." Are you doing a shadow effect? I don't think I did a shadow effect. <laughs> it's in your mind. Like, <laughs> it's in your mind. I'm gonna kind of revise this. Make it feel a little bit more like I'm. I'm making a GC kind of monogram. I made one before that was a little bit oblong. I'm going to try to make it similar, but not as. Uh, Mark would like to know, like before jumping into this illustration, like what did you have in mind? What was your process before? Well, um, I know I wanted to. Th the first thing you kind of have to to think about is is what you want to be kind of front and center, what the hierarchy will be. Mm -hmm. um, just with any packaging, um, you need kind of like a a focus point um, so usually once you kind of figure that out it kind of you'll start to understand where where things are gonna go um, so for this one you can either have the logo um, larger or you can have the um, the the flavor or the beer the type of beer um, larger so here I have the logo kind of smaller and, and pale ale larger so there's some good hierarchy and you know where to look first and where to look second um, and then just you know the name of the brand gold coast brewing co i know i, I wanted it to be um you know uh california inspired um san francisco more specifically so i wanted there to be some sort of artwork that people could you know kind of resonate with and and, and kind of understand when when seeing the uh the can um and the the packaging um and then just as far as as the logo goes when i'm, I'm kind of going into this monogram i wanted something a little bit more flexible um, and just another element that can be added to the packaging and to the brand itself. So, and we have uh, Betty Sotomayor in the chat. Sotomayor, I love this last name. It reminds me of uh, an athlete from Cuba at the Olympics, <laughs> Javier Sotomayor. So uh, she's asking, how do you get this good gold color? It's so hard to get the okay, gold color. Okay, so yeah, I, usually where you can find the sweet spot is. Uh, I'll just go into my color pa palette here. So it's right it's right in between. It's not yellow it, okay. uh, usually. It's not yellow. You'll it's get a mustard color if you go in the yeah, yellow section. But you get too green. If too you, much green. Yeah, if you, if you go into this kind of uh, in between, um, okay. more of an orange, and you drop it right around the middle, you'll get that rich kind of gold color. Um, Interesting. Yeah. So I'm going to offset the path here. Like I've done before, and if you work with a printer, I guess uh, if you want to do real gold, you yeah, um, with cans you can't really do yeah. a, a real gold, but you have to figure out what what the Pantone matching yeah, the Pantone is, is going to be, um, and you get the Pantone reference directly in right. Illustrator. Yeah, so I'm gonna do this round. Make it So I'll add some points um, here, make the G. And then to make the C, I'll add some points here. And we have uh, two more entries for the contest. OK, cool. Mention. So Betty Sotomayor, she was asking about the gold color. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very simple, uh, you know, test, but the picture looks great. Yeah, it feels it's on the table. Uh, uh, maybe we can uh, work with the bat light. There is a yeah, and again, it's a three D rendering. I mean, uh, yeah, it looks great. Very realistic. The lip, and you place your logo. That's good. And then we have Alexon playing with a uh, lot today. And now I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> on the couch. Hey, there you are. <laughs> Here I am with uh, Paris Saint Germain. <laughs> That's Which awesome. is good with the tray. Yeah, I mean, right, yeah. 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 Good job, Exxon. Yeah. Thanks for putting me in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Cool. So I'm liking uh, this one a lot more.
So Bartek, if you want to add an image in dimension, you just select it on the left in your uh, panel, you double click and it will become the background. If you want to add a logo to a 3D object, just select your picture in the Creative Cloud library and drag and drop it directly on the 3D object. Uh, if you go to the contest tab, at the end I've uh, paste, um, there is a link to a tutorial, a free tutorial that covers all the steps. Where do we import our own logo in Dimension? So Glenn, the, the easiest way is to use Creative Cloud Library. So if you are in Illustrator, uh, just uh, drag and drop your logo in the Creative Cloud Library. And in Dimension, you see all your assets from the library and drag and drop it on your 3D object. OK. Paul? Paul? Can you open the door and check if uh, Denis Pierre is there? It's a friend from France. I have friends in France. Charlie is asking any designers you admire at the moment or you would recommend to follow? Um, it's a tough question. Yeah, not off the top of my head. Um, just where I moved in Austin, there's just so many uh, amazing uh, designers there. So if, if you can find anyone from um, you know Austin, I'm sure they're they're good. Um, oftentimes I'm I'm looking on on Dribble, which is another kind of like yeah, which place is also I use a, for, a social network. Yeah, um, just for people on there as well mm -hmm. but with all the designers out there and, and uh, you know inspiration um, there, there's just too many good designers to count you know and there is an, a very neat feature on um, on Behance I can show you like if you are looking for uh, also uh, talented designers but in your region mm -hmm. So what you can do with the search engine and say, OK, I want to look for uh, people or project in uh, graphic design. But you can be more precise and say uh, packaging, mm -hmm. uh, who got the most appreciation like all time. And then you can say in the United States, in Austin is in uh, Texas, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm still new to this country. <laughs> and apply. And then it will show all the. Um, See Steve Wolf, he was with us. He's from oh, Austin. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. He, was, yeah, he yeah. was live with us. And you see all the designers in Austin who got a lot of appreciations for a packaging project. Very cool. And you can start building also a local network mm -hmm. on a worldwide network. Behance is a social network. So you can say, for instance, okay, let me check Steve. I can follow Steve. I can send a message, give appreciation to the, you know. Right. Make sure to build a, a network. It's always helpful. And, uh, and if you live in Austin, you can meet Steve in real life. Yeah. He's very nice, <laughs> actually. You should. OK, <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, he was live with us, I think, in May or June. OK. Yeah, yeah I, I follow him on Instagram, and I think I have seen something that he posted about it. Oh, OK. Actually, you know why? Like, if we go back to, can we go back to Steve? I'll show you something because the mini minimalist T. Is that what he did? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, there as we go. did. <laughs> Honor to be live. Cool. With all the proposals, some mockups, and you can watch the episodes. Oh, nice. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe something we can feature, I guess. A project by Steel Wolf. Uh, 
Uh, Betty is asking you, how do you um, decide when something in your design is too small for print? You know? Usually there's pretty set guidelines. Um, okay. Usually anything under six point, um, as far as font goes, um, is is going to be too small. Not just with packaging, but usually with, with a lot of different things. Um, they do print at a very high resolution. So if you do go smaller than six, it's not that big of a deal. But if, if we're talking about... Um, body copy and that type of thing. You want that to at least be above six, um, okay. which I think I'm, I'm looking pretty good on most of this stuff um, as far as meeting that requirement. On this second section, which we'll probably get to a little bit more tomorrow, I'm going to build this section out um, so it's different than this kind of uh, front panel mm -hmm. um, to where it talks has a little bit more, you know, maybe some iconography and, and uh, some more illustration and, and just copy to go on this to make it um, not just a duplica uh, duplicated design mm -hmm. of the same thing. But I'll leave that there for now. We're still live for 20 minutes, so okay, I give you 10 minutes to submit new entries to enter the contest using Dimension. And then we will ask uh, Kenny about uh, his favorite one to get a Creative Cloud subscription. Uh, we have people in the chat downloading Dimension. I like it. You can still participate tomorrow. Uh, show me if you want to enter the contest. Contest going on over three days. Uh, and you have all the details in the contest tab. Look, there is a chat tab and on the right, info and contest. That's all right, Charmy. You can enter the contest tomorrow also and on Thursday. And Mitch said CC updated faster than I thought. Yeah. Actually, we have a new uh, architecture that we introduced uh, one or two years ago. I don't remember the name. Maybe Denis Pierre, you remember the name. You know of the Creative Cloud uh, architecture, like fast download for the updates. Remember the name of this? Ultra something. Or you see what I mean? Like we, it's a cool name. Yeah, we, we, we'll call it Ultra Fast. Downloaded, downloader. Uh, I don't remember the official name. But yeah, it's way faster. If you want to update all your apps today, it's uh, way faster than it used to be like um, two years ago. Will there be themes next day? So, no, Paul. So, it's really last week we had themes for uh, the uh, Adobe XD prototypes, um, but Dimension is so new. You know, uh, that we just want you to, to try it and share any picture, any theme, because um, it's already awesome to download, install the app, try it, add a 3D model, a texture, a background, and share the picture with us. It's already awesome if you can do it. We're really excited by, by uh, what you created today. It keeps rendering blurry. So what do you mean by blurry? Make sure you didn't check the depth of field uh, setting in your environment, Cody. Otherwise, if you are <laughs> not in the field, it will be blurry. If by blurry you mean uh, you have a lot of noise, uh, it's normal because you are rendering with uh, low settings, which is okay. Okay, Kenny, what, what are you working on? Right now, I'm just building out the, the label, mm -hmm. um, making sure all the spacing is correct, and then um, tomorrow I'll, I'll, I'll dive into where I'm, what I'm going to do here. 
with some more like iconography and just more information. Okay. Um, and then also experiment with maybe just some slightly different layouts tomorrow as well before I go into the mock-up kind of phase. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, part three we use. We said we did. Uh, yeah, we'll do a first test and maybe we'll do more tomorrow. Okay, so we we be review two portfolios just as a test. Okay, so let us know in the chat if you want us to review. I mean, Kenny, to review your portfolio. Just say, uh, please review my portfolio. That's it, and we will click on your on your avatar to jump to your Behance portfolio. It has to be a Behance portfolio. Okay. Okay, show me, I got yours. Maybe one more. And Nadia, okay. Are you ready? Yeah, let's for do life it. Critic? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Be ready, huh? <laughs> it's a test. And, and then you let us know after if you like, uh, if you enjoy uh, portfolio reviews, and then we can do more tomorrow, okay? Cool. Let's do okay, it. you have a lot of people, okay? Now. We only <laughs> do two. It's an experiment. Uh, so this is uh, Charmy. She's from a New York, graphic designer, freelancer. Okay. Uh, when you look at the portfolio, is there any project you want to? Um, I guess we could just just start in order. Um, if I, you want. I, yeah, I would say if we could go back just to yeah. just to look at the portfolio. I think a lot of your um, your cover photos there. There's a lot of they're very busy, which that isn't necessarily a bad thing. But I think you should have some contrast between some of your co cover photos um, maybe do you know a busy one something a little bit more simplistic a busy mm -hmm. one something just so there's a good contrast and everything doesn't kind of um, you know blend together like here yeah like that's a little bit more simplistic and that that feels um, nice next to that um, kind of stationary mock-up hmm. so you want to see uh, the first one yeah absolutely stop gambling with life oh it's uh, I guess if you text as you are driving okay that, gotcha. That's my oh don't don't text and drive. Yeah. Okay. Good job, Michael. Just read. <laughs> Sync up drive. It's good explanation for T -Mobile. Line and stuff. Yeah. Oh, mockup. Okay, got it. It's, it's just a still work working in progress. On it. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. Um, I think this is great. I think you have like a really great like kind of explanation going into the project. Um, I think it's it. it it needs a little bit more, uh, you know, guts to it, um, which it says com coming soon or, or yeah, work, work in, in progress. progress. So there's probably more to come, but um, I think this is awesome. I love the, the kind of working gifts and, and uh, how you're kind of staying on brand, but still having it be fun um, in, the, in that kind of T-Mobile brand. So, hmm. yeah, I like that. Um, which one do you want to see? Um, this is about type, so let's, oh. let's click that. <laughs> this is a... Type history poster. Okay. This is like a, oh, a, a gamma, school project, it feels Bodhi. like. Oh, maybe. We'll see. This is awesome, though. For the Type Directors Club. Oh, look at that. Cool. Yeah, this one's this one's good as well. It's just what I liked about the, the kind of T-Mobile one is it, it had a story behind it and hmm. kind of maybe this one needs to maybe short, show a little bit more pro, uh, process and maybe call out um, some of the those typefaces a little bit more. Yeah, I don't see any description. So maybe you can add, yeah, yeah, to be more about the story. I think these are probably the more recent ones. So maybe we should click yeah. on that just so it's a little bit more. This one's an, another kind of branding <laughs> one. Is it like poppy, like a uh, olive? Yeah, olive. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Illustration's awesome. Bumble bar. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, I like the illustration. Um, I'm wondering if she had done the packaging or if this is just more of like ad, um, ads for that. Yeah, graphic design, advertising, and branding. So, okay, yeah. yeah. 
So I guess she also worked on the lettering here. Yeah, the, definitely can see the craft and the dedication to making this presentation look really nice mm -hmm. um, on this one. Yeah. I really do like that one. Good job, Charmy. If you like her work, make sure to follow Charmy like this. And you can give appreciations, okay? It's for the people like watching. Make sure to uh, give some appreciation to Charmy. Very good work. And Nadia also. Cool. Nadia from Argentina. Look at that illustration. Yeah, first glance, there's a lot of, looks like there's a lot of different yeah. kinds of work. Yeah, good variety. Mm -hmm. um, this one looks interesting. Let's do the, this one. Uh, the one, that one. Yeah. Okay, extra design. Branding, illustration, and graphic design. I love the type treatment and the kind of minimalistic look and mm -hmm. how you're kind of playing around with that, how you could read this business card. Okay, so so uh, design the logos and uh, business cards. Okay. For the studio design, it's for design school. Oh, okay. All these little illustrations that kind of go along with it feel, you know, modern and, and just like you're kind of treating the typeface or the uh you know the type in the in the language mm -hmm. feels very kind of abstract and, and yeah. i feel like those those like patterns and stuff going on i dig that right along i like that one a lot yeah. maybe needs a little bit more to it um cool yeah and we can just do this one right next to it yeah that one looks cool as yeah. well poo resume Okay, Libreria, library, commercial and technical, technical library. I like this one a lot as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Instead of, I like how she's not just putting the logo on everything and, and really like playing with the color and, and different kind of type lockups. Mm -hmm. It's a personal project that she did. Yeah, I like that one a lot. I like the mockups too. Um, you know, it shows that something more modern can be flexible too. So yeah, good point. We can do the first one too. The illustrations. Yeah, let's see really some great. illustrations. Yeah, always good. With Illustrator, of course. Oh, there's just one. I was expecting more because I saw illustraciones. Plural. <laughs> cool. Also, personal project. Okay. Yeah, Nadia. I mean, good job. Yeah, it has a r really great style. And she's in the extras design team. Oh, I see. I see. That's her team. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. Again, if you enjoy uh, Nadia's work, say uh, some nice words in the chat. Make sure to follow her. And uh, always good to see also some uh, designers from uh, yeah. Argentina, all around the world. This is cool. And uh, yeah, let us know if you want to see more portfolio reviews. Maybe tomorrow we can do more. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. If you enjoy that, let us know in the chat. And uh, we'll make sure to maybe uh, spend more time on uh, some portfolio reviews tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. It was just a first experiment, so let us know. Sounds good. Oh, Charmy says, I'm going to update my work according to what you mentioned. Oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's great work, Charmy, like really good. OK, Nathan, you love uh, portfolio reviews. OK. Munir, you give some appreciations to Nadia. Thanks for doing that. <laughs> you are the next, Mark. OK, tomorrow, Mark. Make sure to be the first. <laughs> Yeah, you have like two minutes to enter the contest for today. <laughs> but Mark, you were the, thanks to you, you were at the, in the ideation process because Mark suggested to <laughs> review a portfolio. So that's uh, So if you come back tomorrow, Mark, I will make sure to review a portfolio. But I will also really enjoy like discovering the work, you know, from uh, people watching. Mm -hmm. It's good to see that, yeah, we have very good uh, people watching Adobe Live. It's awesome. And we are on Behance. This is the place for portfolios, so I think it makes sense.
Okay, we have seven minutes left, so so maybe we can uh, wrap up. Yeah. Okay, where you at? What you will be doing tomorrow, and then we can review what has been uh, cool. created for the contest, and you have to pick a winner. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. So, um, just put everything in, in into the kind of the label right now, um, just so I kind of have this uh, structure all set up. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I'll explore uh, some more colorways, maybe tighten that up a little bit more, and then also. Um, figure out what I can do in this kind of uh, this second spot where pale ale is located um, this kind of blank area and maybe explore some you know some different iconography to make it a little bit more exciting and, okay. and uh, you know just some more fun stuff to read on the side of a beer can while you're drinking yeah, it. yeah maybe so, the history of the beer I mean something absolutely. that deals with the yeah yeah or the so, um, what's the name the, the flat like a taste or the flavor maybe yeah. some indication yeah the, the ibus anything that yeah. kind of has to do with that so uh that's what i'll work on tomorrow getting set that yeah. set up and, and finalized cool make sure to be back and uh and at some point maybe tomorrow we'll start i will start maybe applying this to the you know, as a test you know as a prototype yeah absolutely. with dimension to a can and see how it goes I need to retrieve my uh, Adobe stock credits in the meantime. I don't know yeah. what happened. Yeah, what, what's going on? I had on like here? 75 <laughs> credits like uh, 30 minutes ago and now I have zero. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Must be Gus. Gus stole all my credits. Okay, so let's review all the entries of today. Let's okay? do it. Sounds and good. And you have to pick the one you prefer. Okay. So we have this one called Terra Water. Okay. Okay, the shadow is in the right direction. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, like the show, showing the back and the and one, is, <laughs> one is on <laughs> and the, the ground. One laying down. That's funny. <laughs> and the rotation, yeah, it's a nice way to showcase uh, mm -hmm. the back. Good job. This one, yeah, not easy. Yeah? Look at that. It's hard to tell what is fake and what is real, but oh my god, it's hard to tell. Like the USB key, the mm -hmm. phone, because we see the we recognize the logo on right, this. So. Right. Maybe it has been applied to the phone, the USB key, and the glass. Mm -hmm. I like the perspective also, like right. which is very like a wide angle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can't tell what's. <laughs> yeah, it's very <laughs> hard to tell like, <laughs> what is real, what is not real. Right. Well, it's very impressive, and that's Nathan. Yeah, good job, uh, Laura. Nice. Behance Live. Cool. Essential box. Okay, so what is in the box? You need an espresso. Yeah, a tiny, tiny little espresso. And uh, some coffee beans. And coffee beans. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we need. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Laura. Then we have the spiced cold brew. Yeah, good job. Good job. Yeah, it's on the table. With this picture, it's hard. Uh, it's very hard to work with this picture because there is depth of field. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and you can tell here, like, if your 3D object is too close to the lens, right. it cannot be that sharp. So be careful. Like, if it's here, it's okay. If it's here, it has to be blurry a little bit. So you need to play with the depth of field. But otherwise, it looks great. I like the light. Looks uh, a little bit uh, studio. Yeah. No, and not very uh, in it, like in the yeah. space. Mm -hmm. But it, it looks like a real uh, studio light. Good job. And we had uh, this one already. Yep, the harvest. Harvest. I'm just reviewing Rufus and Rufus. <laughs> uh, we had uh, orange. Mm -hmm. uh, so a very nice one. Uh, the Bravo mm -hmm. with the top shot. Uh, this one with the creative desk yeah. and the beer bottle. The creative coffee. Yeah. So, um, and the pepper grinder. And that's it. Cool. So you have to choose. It's tough. It's tough. It's almost I'm impossible, but. I'm a sucker for typography, so I like the creative coffee one. Ah, yes. Uh, but at the same time, I really like the the kind of branding and the in the look of the orange. Um, of this one. Yeah. And I know the lights kind of you know off on that one, so I'll have Stop. to go with the creative coffee. That's. Yeah, you want to say red uh, lettering? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Congratulations to the creative coffee. <laughs> you get Creative Cloud one year and uh, you will get more opportunities to win tomorrow. Just uh, be back. Tomorrow we'll be live for eight hours okay? with graphic designers working on packaging. We'll start at 9 a.m. Pacific time with Handbreaker and then uh, we welcome Nick Longo um, who is working on a, it's a, it's a funny uh, packaging. It's a brand for uh, healthy food for kids. Okay, Health, cool. Healthy snacks. Okay, gotcha. Uh, nice. And... Um, and then the, dun, 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 Cecilia will be back. 
uh, with uh, her Earth project, and you will keep uh, working on this uh, gear Coast. label, and yeah. uh, we'll start prototyping in 3D a little bit tomorrow, as uh, you will uh, continue working on the iconography and the details. Yep, we'll see how it looks. Thanks for all your feedback. Thanks for your awesome questions. Uh, thank you, Kenny, for yeah. sharing the process. No it's problem. It was uh, really uh, fun and um, just learning a lot, just watching you, how you work with the grid, uh, the snap grid, how you mm -hmm. duplicate elements, how you position the hierarchy also was super interesting. Yeah. Really enjoyed uh, watching your creative process. Yeah. And uh, thank you, everyone. See you all tomorrow on behance.net slash live. Thank you, Kenny. Cool. Bye, everyone. See ya.